stoned her to death. So in order to prevent her or to protect her from that situation of stoning to death, Jesus was able to speak in the cradle. So that he would that, actually give yeah. testimony on behalf of his mother that I'm indeed the servant of God and I'm the true messenger of God. And so where would that lineage of stories come from? Because that's like 700 years after, you know, after Jesus was... Uh, well, it's the same, uh, it's same God, right? In, it's not mentioned in the Bible that way. Does, no, but that's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that just because it came six or seven hundred years after Jesus, yeah. because at the end of the day, the story of uh, Adam came thousands or hundreds of thousands well, of years in after the Adam. Quran, that they got different stories about Adam and what they do in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like for example, Adam and Eve. Eve specifically is blamed in the Bible, but in the Quran, both of them are equally blamed for the fall in the in the, in in the, in, the, in, in, in the paradise. So yes, because we believe that the source is the same and over time these books have been corrupted until the last messenger Muhammad who who said that the uh, that what is true from them and what is the falsehood he basically clarified that situation and that's the reason the Quran is called al muhaymin so it's something that uh, distinguishes the falsehood from the truth and so it doesn't matter if it came 600 700 because if it's the same God then he should be able to narrate the story even after hundreds of thousands of years, like in the case of Adam. Yes, Moses brought the story of Adam after hundreds of thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Now, the same situation, or sorry, the same concept can be applied to Muhammad who came 600 years after Jesus. Mm -hmm. why, can't the, why can't God, who knows everything, tell Muhammad what really happened? Like for example, the crucifixion is one story that the Christians believe as to be true, but the Muslims don't. So. Muhammad could have easily said, you know, if he was a con man, he could have easily said, oh, we believe in the crucifixion and we believe in Jesus to be the Messiah. Yes, then he would have more converts to Islam from Christianity because that would be ideal, isn't it, for him? But he didn't because what really matters in our faith is the, the honesty and the truth. And the truth was his mightiest messenger, Jesus, and the Messiah, which we as Muslims accept. It's not someone who was killed during the crucifixion and so this truth had to be told and this was told by Muhammad after 600 years. But do they believe he was on the cross? No. no, no. Because the Quran very clearly says that he was neither crucified nor killed and crucified means the whole process of crucifixion including the putting on the cross. Mm -hmm. So yeah I mean if you have a chance I don't know if you uh, do you have a copy of the Quran? Uh, I did do I don't think I have any more. Okay uh, if you want I can give you a free copy. Well, I have, 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 have about two copies, yeah? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. You as well. It's no, free copy, no, yeah. it, it, I hope my friend is still here, the no, one who's no, carrying no, it along. Um, I don't want, want to go in the reason why, but I'm ex. You're ex? Muslim, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Maybe even ex Muslim deserves a chance to read the Quran again. Yeah, yeah but. Uh, but, but <laughs> well done. <laughs> but that being said, I, I, I always have respect. I still yeah. have respect and, and I love them. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah. We, should, we should all respect. At the end of the day, look, you know, the Quran, we, we are called yeah. as Bani Adam. We are all yeah. called the children of Adam. So, regardless of your faith, your background, whatever, we as Muslims, we should respect everyone. Yes. And we have to. In fact, in the Quran, Allah even says that the people do not, do not basically talk offensively about the gods yeah. of the other people because then they will turn back and curse your god so we are not this is something that we do not do as as, as true muslims but you know what what i'm asking yeah. myself like the uh, the uh, about a month ago we went to the bbc uh -huh. and we shut down the bbc okay and we were saying tell the truth bbc yeah. right and this is what we're asking yeah. also is as a green movement we're asking for some leadership on green issues. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess this is this is why I'm down here okay. and why I've invited Extinction Rebellion to come in two weeks' time, and we'll be identified by wearing the jackets and we'll have our wheelie bins with like you know containers of hot drinks so that we we can have hot drinks and okay. all that kind of stuff and That's that kind good, yeah. of action and just say look. Um, yeah, it'll be good to listen to them. Yeah, maybe you'd like to join because the yeah. Extinction Rebellion. This is an outreach coming down here, right. but the Extinction Rebellion is going to kick off again in April. That's what the core organizers, you know, that okay. got the most. Um, they might want to change the name or something because. And the invitation is for people to come, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. and sit on a bridge with us because the the accusation leveled at the um, Extinction Rebellion. Oh, it's just another white, all white, middle class, you know, a Guardian reading phenomenon. Mm. But what we'd like to see 
this diversity of people. No, we thought we've also concerns as a Muslim community for the environment mm -hmm. and for God's creation. We the Christians, we've also got concerns about the environment, which have, there, there already are like some white Buddhists uh, you know, who are coming along. But this is the invitation, and that's why we're doing the outreach in two weeks' time right. in preparation for. April. Is this on a Sunday? Where is this? Yeah, two weeks' time okay. today. They're coming to speakers corner. Yeah. So. It'd be good to speak to them, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they'll be identified by the jackets that say yeah. Extinction Rebellion. And there'll be the invitation for them. I would advise well. them to change the name, maybe. Extinction the term, Rebellion. Not yeah. the term extinction, maybe the term rebellion is kind of negative connotation. Yeah, non People don't like non violent direct action. Yeah, I but know. you know, you know how even, it is. <laughs> even even the UN, even the UN no, no, advising no. civil disobedience no, no. on the subject. You know? well, the UN is another. Okay. Yeah. Organization, you know, just like the National Trust. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think so. Yeah. Right, Very nice speaking to you, mate. What yeah, is your name? Sorry, Teo. Teo? Yeah. yeah, I'm Hashim. Hashim. Nice, nice to meet you, Hashim. Maybe I'll see you in two weeks' time. Yeah, I'll take care, mate. Okay. All right, bye bye. Well,